This video explains how to make 500 ml of one molar hydrochloric acid from 36% hydrochloric acid. Note that this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a qualified chemist. Do not attempt to reproduce anything shown in this video as doing so may result in death or life-changing injuries. Hi, this video is about making one molar hydrochloric acid from 36% hydrochloric acid. And that's hydrochloric acid, which is 36% hydrogen chloride by mass, the rest being water. Next, we're going to do some calculations. We're going to work out how much of the 36% acid we need to go with how much water so we can make up 500 mils of a one molar solution of hydrochloric acid, which is useful for school style experiments. After we've done those calculations, we'll come back down here. I'll put on the lab coat. We'll pour out the acid and put it in bottles and we'll actually see how it's practically done. So bear in mind, we want to use this acid for school experiments. So we want something like one molar strength hydrochloric acid. Now, bizarrely, the only acid I could find online that I could buy just by mail order was concentrated hydrochloric acid, 36%. So what does 36% strength mean, first of all? So could it be maybe 36% of a mole? So point. 3.6 mole, is that what it means? No, that's not right, but it is confusing. So this is actually hydrochloric acid, which is 36% hydrogen chloride by mass. That means 36% of its mass is hydrogen chloride, and the rest is water. Now, this way of describing its strength is a bit inconvenient. Now, if it described its strength in terms of its molarity, it would be much easier to do the calculations. So, for example, if this was 2 molar hydrochloric acid, we could just mix it 50-50 with water and have our one molar solution. Now, fortunately, we live in the information age and you can just do a bit of Googling and you can find tables for working out these dilutions. So here we've got our 36% hydrochloric acid. It's telling us its density, its molarity, which is 11.65, it turns out. And then the volume in millilitres required to make a 1,000 mL solution at one molar strength. So if we wanted a litre of one molar acid, we'd just put 85.8 millilitres of that concentrated 36% acid into a beaker, and then we could mix it with water to make the whole lot up to one litre in total. So we could do it that way. <sighs> Call yourself a scientist. Can't you work it out? Can't you do it from first principles? So do you want to do the maths? I want you to do the maths. Is that a rhetorical point, or would you like to do the math? Yeah. I'd like to do the math. Now, we want 0 0.5 litres, or 500 millilitres, of one molar hydrochloric acid. And the molecular mass of hydrogen chloride is 36.46 grams per mole. And that molecular mass is not surprising when you consider that the atomic mass of hydrogen is around 1, and the atomic mass of chlorine is around 35.5. When you add those together, you get around 36.5 grams per mole. So we want 36.46 grams of HCl in one litre of water. So for half a litre, we'd want half, 18.23 grams. So the question is, what mass of 36% hydrochloric acid do we need for 18.23 grams of HCl, hydrogen chloride? Now remember what we said earlier, 36% hydrochloric acid means it's 36% hydrogen chloride by mass. Yeah, so the other 64% is water. So 36% of some amount of hydrochloric acid will yield 18.23 grams of hydrogen chloride. So let's solve for x. So if we times both sides of this equation by 100 over 36, that's what we want to do to both sides, we'll get x equals 18.23 times 100 divided by 36, which equals 50.64. So we need 50.64 grams of 36% hydrochloric acid to get 18.23 grams of hydrogen chloride. Now, of course, we'd rather measure this out in a measuring cylinder than deal with grams and actually have to weigh this acid. So let's convert this to a volume. 
Now the density of 36% hydrochloric acid is 1.18 grams per milliliter. So the volume of 36% hydrochloric acid that has a mass of 50.64 grams will be 50.64 divided by 1.18 which equals 42.92 milliliters. And so to get half a litre of one molar hydrochloric acid, we need to add this 42.92 millilitres of concentrated hydrochloric acid to around 457 mils of distilled water in a beaker. And then we'll have our one molar solution. So here's the whole calculation on one screen. So you can pause the video and check that you follow the maths here. And as you can see, our calculation is in agreement with this resource we found on the internet. To make a litre of one molar hydrochloric acid from 36% hydrochloric acid, you need 85.8 millilitres of this strength of acid. Now, because we only want half a litre, we need half of that, and that indeed is 42.9, exactly the same as our calculation. We're going to make up a total of 500 mils of one molar hydrochloric acid. We're going to have 457 mils of water and 43 mils of concentrated 36% hydrochloric acid. So let's start by adding 207 mils of water to the beaker. And now for the dangerous bit, we're gonna put 43 mils of concentrated hydrochloric acid into this measuring cylinder and then pour it into the water. Three days later. Okay, and finally, we're going to add 250 mils of water to make it up to 500 mils in total. Okay, so finally, I'm going to try and pour this acid into these bottles. I'm not sure if I should be using a funnel here, but we're going to try without, first of all. Three weeks later. Many months later. Next time we'll be doing the maths to work out how much of that one molar hydrochloric acid we'll need to mix with how much magnesium metal to fill a small party balloon with hydrogen gas. We might even try and do it in practice too.